In this video, we are going to talk about how we can use MLKit translation in our Android app. So you might already know that we can use Google Translate Cloud API to do Google translations. But the thing is, you have to pay for your usage. Now, MLKit provides the translation facility for free. That means you don't have to pay for API keys instead you can use their library in your project you can use this in your ios app also in the android app in this video we are going to see how we can set up in java project here we can click the android i will include this reference in the description so you can visit here click android i will come back to here soon so we are going to create our android studio project select empty activity and then click next I'm going to say ML kit translations. Yeah, uh, ML kit translations. Okay, now the language should be Java everything is fine so we can go ahead and click finish okay now we can go back to the page and we have to copy this dependency code and then paste that here in the build.gradle file currently the process is ongoing that's why we cannot see okay in the gradle scripts we can find this builder gradle file module version now when you scroll to the down you will see this dependencies section and paste your dependency code here and then click sync now after that we can design our layout in the resources folder in the layout folder we can open our layout file i will go to a split option and then change this layout type into linear layout also the, the orientation for this currently it is building that's why the suggestions is not working so i can say android colon orientation is equals to inside double quotations vertical Okay, and then here I'm going to add uh, edit text to allow user to enter some text to translate. I will say edit text and then the ending tag for this. Android colon ID is equals to inside double quotations at plus ID for slash and then the id as edit text translate so we have to add the width for this android colon layout underscore width is equals to match parent and the height for this android colon layout height as wrap content so i'm going to define the hint for this android colon hint as enter the text here okay now we can add the button we can say button now this will have layer width as match parent and the height as wrap content so i'm going to define the text for this button as translate i know this code is literally bad because alignments and paddings are not okay you can add those as you need so we can define the button id android colon id is equals to double quotations inside that at plus id for slash btn translate okay that's it for the design part so we can open our java class here i'm going to define the variable as private edit text as the data type and the text uh, field name as edit text 
let's say letters so I'm going to define this edit text letters equals to find view by id r dot id dot the identifier that we have given to this edit text which is edit text translate we had to put that here and also let's go ahead and create our button private button btn translate let's say like that and uh, here i'm going to define btn translate is equals to find view by id inside parenthesis i can pass in the identifier of the layout component which is this one okay now we can do the click event btn translate dot set on click listener inside parenthesis we can say new when you type on c it will suggest to the code so all you have to do just press enter so it will auto complete your code so here i'm going to uh, check whether this text is empty or not so we can say if text utils is empty inside this we can pass in edit text letters dot get text and after the parenthesis dot to string so if this is empty we can show a task message we can use task dot make text and the first one has the context of the current uh, class which is the main activity dot this and the next one is the text so i will say no text allowed so after that we are saying toss dot length short finally dot show okay now in the else statement i'm going to do the translation for that firstly open this import area we are going to type import com dot google dot ml kit dot this should be google dot ml kit dot nl dot translate dot translation we are going to import that here and we are going to do the same thing for com dot google dot ml kit dot nl dot translate dot translator the final one i'm going to say import com dot google dot ml kit dot nl dot translate dot uh, finally that should be translator options when you type translator it will suggest to this done you have to say translation options don't worry about this i will also include these uh, codes in the references so you can assess all of these codes also i will include the Gita link of this project okay now in the lc statement i'm going to uh, say translation options translator options this one options is equals to new translator options now after that uh, make sure you are going to add dot builder before this parenthesis otherwise you will see some errors you cannot uh, resolve that so don't forget that you have to add this dot builder before the parenthesis and after that you are going to say the target language for that we can say dot set target language here and then inside parenthesis we have to pass in the language code to find the language code go back to the page and then here you can go to supported languages i will also include this table word file in the description so you can easily assess now for example we have to assess japanese we can copy this one ja and we can paste that here the target language is ja and after that we have to define the source language so receive a good translation result because we are saying what is the language that we are going to translate you can say dot set source language for example if we need to translate english 
normally the language code of English is EN you can refer the page here EN for English okay and after that all we have to do just say dot build finally end up with the semicolon now after that I'm going to say translator and the variable name for that as translator is equals to translation dot get client inside this we have to pass in this options okay now the next thing we have to do just say what is the text that we want to translate for example we can uh, create a new variable source text is equals to our edit text letters dot get text dot to a string now after that we can say tags then angle brackets and between that we have to say the type as is string so I'm going to say result is equals to here you have to re refix this by pressing alt and enter so it will import your class to here this one and after that I'm going to say this equals to translator dot translate and inside that we have to pass in that source text that we want to translate and after that we are going to add on success listener for this we can say add on success listener here we have to say dot add on success listener inside parentheses we can create new if you type on here so it will suggest you the code so you can press enter this is the code okay now this is the translation result text so we can say tost dot make test and the uh, s will be showed here don't worry about this big code i will include this in references so here we can uh, add the on failure listener after this parentheses and the semicolon before that we can say dot add on failure listener inside that we can type new on and it will suggest to the code so if any error occurs we can print that here using task or anything you can say e dot get message dot to a string now i am going to go ahead and run this i am going to press this run button so it shows me some error that because we have to update our compile sdk version to latest one currently i have only 33 here so if you have any updates also don't forget to update this mlkit translate library so we can press sync now i have updated the target sdk and also the compile sdk into latest versions after that i can press run all right now we can go ahead and run this but the thing is this will not work guys because we have to download the language model let me show you if we type something and then click translate it will regards this error the model should be downloaded as the solution open your java class and then when you are creating your translator object after that you are going to say translator dot download model if needed so this will start to download your model okay now we can run again so each and every languages uh, it will try to download the language model here I can type hello here then it will start to download the model first so you had to allow some time here so it will be downloaded so how we can check whether the model is downloading 
if you scroll here you will see this the zip is downloading by that way you can wait until your download is success but the thing is this is not a good practice for the user if the file is downloading through the notifications user will not get notified as the solution we can use a progress dialog here I'm going to create a new object with progress dialog I can say progress dialog progress dialog is equals to new progress dialog inside parenthesis I can pass in the current context which is the main activity dot this and after that I'm going to say progress dialog dot set message the message as download in the translation model okay now we can uh, say progress dialog dot set cancelable as false until this model is downloaded user have to wait so we can say progress dot show alright and then here when we are doing the downloading we can say that below of this progress dialog showing statement we can say translation dot download model if needed and after that I'm going to say dot add on success listener inside parenthesis I will say new on success listener so here I'm going to dismiss the progress progress dialog dot dismiss I'm going to add the failure for this dot add on failure listener inside parenthesis I can say new on failure listener we can also dismiss the progress dialog if needed we can show some errors okay now let me check the code now by running here also we have declared this translator dot translate into this task result you can dismiss this if you don't want to do further actions with this because this code will give you the translation result if you type here something we got the konnichiwa as the result you can see the result is appears as the toss message now i'm going to type something else good morning it should give us ohio yeah it gave us ohio gozaimasu okay i hope this video helps if this video helps please subscribe thank you